Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com hourly analysis for the S&P 500 for Wednesday, October the 6th, 2010. Well, the opening hour of trading, we actually had the change of trend that we were uh, uh, looking for today. And that trend uh, began with a candle, obviously with a lower high and a lower low, and a spinning top type candle. So a spinning top type candle uh, denotes indecision. So it's a little wonder that the market uh, failed to uh, sell off uh, quite significantly. Spinning tops are, uh, as I've said, indecisive, and that's because we have this battle between the bulls and the bears going on, a shadow on the top, downside price rejection, shadow on the bottom, upside price rejection. So selling coming in and buying coming in uh, throughout the uh, trading period. So uh, indecision, neither side were able to take control of this market. The next hour we had a red-bodied candle, so now we have the sellers showing some keenness, and then following that, another uh, spinning top type candle. The... Uh, next hour of trading, subsequent to that, a uh, red body candle, a, a much larger red body than uh, we've seen for, since the uh, opening of trading today. And uh, that's telling us that the uh, sellers have closed the market in control, they're keen and committed. Uh, that commitment didn't last very long. We had another candle with a lower high and a lower low, downtrend maintained, but a very large shadow on the uh, bottom and uh, uh, virtually no... Um, body on the top of the candle so that uh, denotes buying coming in now that area where we saw the buying coming in we can see the last three hours of trading we had large shadows on the bottom of each of these candles and that corresponds with the region that we've highlighted in grey here where the market was rejected from previously so we can see this area here where there was this strong rejection a very strong test of the area up around uh, this region up to about uh, 1157 and then uh, strong price rejection in the subsequent two hours. Once again, the market uh, tested this area, and now, as we know, with support and resistance, they can actually change character and uh, perform in an opposite manner. And here we have this area acting as support. So that's what these shadows on the, on the bottom represent, buying coming in. Now, in the uh, second last hour of trading, we had a, a little bit more size to the body of the candle, so the buyers made a smaller amount, uh, sorry, a slightly larger amount of net bullish progress. And then on the final hour of trading, they made a decent amount of net bullish progress in relation to the previous two candles. In relation to the uh, candles for the whole trading day, uh, fairly uh, fairly average. Uh, but they did close the market uh, up at the high, and that represented the buyers closing the market in control. And the shadows represent the sellers losing commitment as they attempted to take the uh, market lower. Now, uh, the uh, Kijun Sen here, if we look at that, the pink line, that's pointing flat. And uh, that's uh, one of the reasons why we had this uh, attempted uh, pullback towards this area. When the Kijun Sen turns flat, there tends to be a, uh, either a consolidation or a pullback towards that area, and that's what's happened there. Now, whether that's finished or not, um, hard to tell. The trend, the downtrend that the market was in is actually complete. We are in a new first time frame uptrend, and uh, the market uh, found support at this zone, as we've mentioned, from... 11.57 down to 11.53. Now, we are trading up above the cloud still, so the market does maintain its overall positive bias, and it's trading above the Kijun Sen and just above the Tenkan Sen. We did have some uh, trading periods down below the Tenkan Sen, which is a short-term bullish signal, but we can see that the uh, that didn't last very long, and the market changed trend quite quickly after that area was taken out. Now, to the upside, obviously, uh, we have strong overhead resistance up around 11.63. And we can see the shadows on the top of these candles. As the market attempted to trade up here on one, two, three, four, five occasions, there was uh, continual selling. So that's a very big area for this market. So we have two big areas for the market in the next few hours of uh, trading when the market opens tomorrow. This region of resistance up to about 11.63, and uh, if we see a breakout up above that area and a bullish breakout, then uh, there's a very good chance that the market will trade up to around 11.70. But on the downside, we have this uh, region between 11.57 and 11.53. And uh, if we have the market breaking out to the downside there, we have another area in around 11.50. And then certainly support down around the Kijun Sen, which is roughly about 11.48, 11.47. So um, a very important first few hours of trading for uh, tomorrow. Um, we need to watch areas of uh, strong support and strong resistance.